Good morning, adventurers. Hello from Hot Springs, Arkansas. So we've just been chilling at this coffee shop this morning, getting a lot of work done, trying desperately to get the vlog uploaded, but the internet is not cooperating. Who knew it was gonna be such a struggle like in the US to do this? Yeah, well, know. these files are like well over a gigabyte. So even if you have a decent connection, it still takes a while. Uh. But so we're kind of tied here for the moment. We were trying to get started a little bit earlier today. It's about 11, 11 a.m. right now. But anyways, um, it's about uploaded. We are going to finish up here and then we're going to explore the town of Hot Springs, Arkansas. downtown area of Hot Springs, Arkansas, it's actually smack in the middle of Hot Springs National Park. So at any direction from downtown, you just enter the park. So there's uh, supposedly a bunch of really excellent views and there's kind of a driving path that we found. So we're just gonna drive around and see if we can find them. Yeah, normally we prefer hiking, but we're kind of in a time crunch. So we're doing the quick scenic route V car. <gasps> Yeah, maybe. You guys hear that? <laughs> yeah. Kind of terrifying. Sounds like the end of the world. Maybe it's a zombie apocalypse. Oh yeah, Dude, it's a zombie good apocalypse thing we're siren. Up high. This was only a test. It's only a test. Are downtown now on bathhouse row and so this whole street I guess was lined with bathhouses um, until like the 70s I think that's when they ended up pretty much all shutting down except for I think there was one left and then the parks department came in and they started revitalizing them so now I think a lot of them are hotels I don't know if they do so much the thermal baths anymore but um, you can come and stay in them and they're so pretty I they've really done a good job restoring them they look beautiful yeah, there's a bunch of them here. Yeah, but one of them has been turning to a brewery, and that is where we are headed for lunch. So the Superior Bathhouse is the first brewery in a national park, and really fun fact, they use the water from the hot spring in their beer. And they were the first brewery to ever do that, too. Yeah. Pretty cool. So I got the Kolsch. Oh, yeah. Um, what did you get? I got the Saison. Saison? Oh, man. Nice. Sorry, guys. It's getting a little bit noisy in here. But uh, the food has arrived, and it looks awesome. I got a Reuben sandwich, which is like a pastrami, and then a sauerkraut on rye bread. And, of course, some cheese. Dude, it looks so good. And on the side, I got some uh, tomato bisque soup and a little pickle. What'd you get? I did um, a mushroom panini with lots of cheese and a salad, and they had homemade apple basil dressing, which is really interesting sounding. Yeah, I did not go with the healthy option this time, but it just sounded so good. This is how you take it to the next level, right there. Yeah. Pro status. This tomato bisque is awesome, you guys. It's rocked my world. It basically just tastes like a creamy, cheesy pasta sauce. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the actual... Uh, spray. Is it hot? It's hot. Yeah. So there you go. That's the hot spring of Hot Spring, Arkansas. Oh they have God. these little display springs all over the city. How it's pretty cool. Neat. I mean, it's not like burn you hot, but it's... <laughs> Shock you hot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys, these are actually really hot. They feel really nice. I'd get in there. I mean, not this one. Looks pretty gross. <laughs> so the city has all these filling stations where you can fill for free any container directly with uh, spring water. And it said that the water that comes out of here is aged a fine 4,000 years. So there you go. How do you do it? 
Is it? Oh yeah, it's hot. Is it? It's hot. Ah! <laughs> oh man. So you it's can't really hot. It right away. Well. I thought it was really cool that um, all of the uh, law enforcement are park rangers. So it's not like typical police because this is this downtown area is in a national park. Yeah. All right, we are way behind schedule. We have about a six-hour drive to Nashville. This are you morning? excited? No, I thought it was four hours. It was in my head, four hours, and I just looked it up and it's six hours, and yeah. I was so sad. We just ran into a just dead stop traffic jam, but Google rerouted us just right where the beginning of the traffic jam was. There's a lot of cars, man. Yeah, it says that the slowdown, oh, look at it, you can see it from here. Oh, yeah. Is like um, an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah, so these suckers so are gonna now, be in that line for a long time. It's nothing yeah. but trucks. And now we're on this little side road, yeah. hopefully, it gets us around it. I'll take it. Google for the win, y'all. I'm going to take this opportunity to give you guys a little road trip tip that we've picked up through all of this road tripping we've been doing. When our tank gets about halfway full and we have the opportunity to stop for gas, especially if it's a little bit cheaper, we always take it because you never know when this is going to happen and we're literally just going into the middle of nowhere to pass all the traffic, but we've got three-fourths of a tank, so we should be good to go. So we're a couple hours away from Nashville. We just had to make a pit stop because we were starving. It's pretty difficult when you're in a hurry to eat healthy on the road. Um, we usually try to stop at like an authentic place in a town nearby, but we don't have that much time. So our options when we don't have much time are, lately we've been going to Chick-fil-A because they have these salads that are actually really legit. Check that out. This is like a spicy Southwest. What, what's that? I got a Cobb salad. Yeah. So it's got the fried chicken. Oops, but. But there's They're, this, there's Chipotle, and uh, Panda, Panda Express. Express. Those are, <laughs> Those are like our go-tos when yeah. we need a quick meal on the road. Yeah, we try getting salads other places, and they suck so bad. Yeah, salads at fast food restaurants, like we don't even mess bad. with them. But Chick-fil-A converted us, because this is, I mean, look at this. This is pretty awesome. We have officially arrived in Nashville. We are staying at um, Allison's sister's place. My sister and brother. Yeah, they actually just got a brand new house, so that's why this room is completely empty. Yeah, this we is literally like their random guest room. We yeah, were supposed to bring up a little mattress, but we forgot. Yeah. Oopsies. So instead, we're going to put some blankets on the floor, and that's where we're going to sleep. Sorted it out. Check this out. This is where we're sleeping for the night, y'all. The little pallet. This is not going to be comfortable. Just going to... There you go. But we made our bed, and now we're going to lie in it. <laughs> exactly. You guys, it's midnight. We're going to bed. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.